Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So, at the beginning of November, I'll let you know that Microsoft had delayed once again the rollout of Windows Recall. And as mentioned in the video, which once again will be linked in screen and down below, originally um, the rollout was planned for October last month. And Recall will now be available for preview with Windows Insiders on Copilot Plus PCs by December of this year. 2024 which is in a couple of days so that's going to be interesting to see when that does roll out to insiders now just a quick recap as to why microsoft has on and off been delaying uh, the rollout of windows recall because it originally rolled out with copilot plus pcs on the 18th of june this year and then microsoft pulled it and this is the reason microsoft pulled it and um, just as a quick recap basically um, in case you're unaware recall works by taking snapshots of your screen at regular intervals and storing them either locally on your device or synced through Microsoft 365. And what this means is that you can then search these snapshots using natural language to locate specific content like your images or text um, that Recall has viewed on your PC. Now obviously due to this it raised a lot of privacy um, and security and data concerns and I think with this feature Microsoft lost quite a bit of trust uh, with the user user database and their Windows users and um, with this recall and for some reason Microsoft is intent to push this feature out. I think this feature is doing Windows more harm than good but nonetheless Microsoft is on a one-way mission with this. So come so-called hello high water they are pushing this feature out. Now the latest is that uh, yesterday at uh, Microsoft's Ignite 2024 conference Microsoft has announced some significant changes to recall for business and they have said and Microsoft has said and I'm quoting we heard your feedback on needing a secure and controllable experience for using recall in your organizations and it will be quote unquote so as mentioned Microsoft on a one-way mission to get this feature out like would have hated now to address these privacy and security concerns um Recall will now be disabled by default, according to Microsoft. And IT administrators will have the ability to enable the feature through updated policies, allowing employees to opt in if they want to use Recall or not. And the revamped version will also include security enhancements such as additional layers of data encryption and Windows Hello protection, which Microsoft claims make it, and I'm quoting once again, one of the most secure experiences we have ever built. So once again, Microsoft on a one-way mission to get this feature out. Now something else to take note of is that settings for recall, um, in the settings for recall, you will also have privacy controls to filter sensitive information from snapshots, such as passwords and credit card details, according to Microsoft. And it will also allow you to add or remove specific apps and websites from being included in snapshots, which at the end of the day gives you greater control over what data is captured. And other options include enabling or disabling recall and accessing privacy resources for detailed um, guidance and so on. And that's um, according to this announcement that Microsoft made yesterday at its Ignite 2024 conference. Personally, I feel Microsoft should pull this feature. I think it's done them more harm than good. And uh, let me know what you think down in the comments. And I know this recall has caused a lot of debate. And I've even seen in the comments on this channel... Um, has caused a lot of users um, of Windows to move on to other operating systems and the user base has lost a lot of trust. But then on the other hand, I've seen some comments where some viewers have actually found this a useful feature. So obviously it's always a bit of give and take, but nonetheless, that's the latest. This is quite a seesaw up and down effect with this recall and it's going to be interesting to see if it actually starts rolling out to the insider program it, over the next couple of days I'm um, starting in December and obviously I'll keep you posted if that happens so thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one